about this build that you've finished. All right, so we're in a uh, brand new Red Center 22 foot um, couples van uh, with a cafe lounge. Um, these guys are actually a returning customer. So we've done a build for these guys a few years ago in their previous caravan. Um, and they've come back to us for another upgrade, um, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, basically these guys bought a caravan with the very basic package installed with the knowledge that they were going to come back to us to get it upgraded um, post-delivery, basically. So um, the system is a BM Pro mounted into the overhead cupboard, which, you know, if you've watched any of our other videos, um, we know that's not a great place for a charging system to be mounted in relation to um, batteries due to, you know, voltage drop across cables and all those sorts of things that can be mitigated by use, by using shunts and all those sort of things, but this particular van didn't have that installed. So, um, they also uh, have the batteries mounted down on the chassis, which is um, two AGM batteries um, in their battery boxes down on the chassis. Um, outside of that, they've got a Trek screen up here in the overhead cupboard in, in the door, which does all the usual things that these BM Pro all-in-one systems do, tanking, switching on your pump, turning off your DC control. Um, they can do solar if that's what you want. Um, they do AC charging if that's what you want as well. So um, we've taken all of that functionality away from the BM Pro. So now all it's doing is tanks, switching on the pumps, um, and DC just distribution. So um, no other functionality whatsoever. The conversation that we had with um, the owner of this van was the usual conversation that we have, what do you want to run? Um, and they basically want to run everything. So if we take a look in this overhead cupboard, you can kind of see what we've got up here. So we've got a coffee machine, kettle, toaster. Um, they've got their microwave. Uh, they've got their air con, which Again, if you've watched any of our videos, you'll know that these um, Bel Air 34 slash 3500s are very heavy consumers. And um, to uh, ensure longevity of the whole system, we do install soft starters into these. So um, this particular air conditioner has a soft starter installed into it um, to make sure that the startup currents are um, appropriate for our inverter system. Um, so we've done that. Um, that'll give them the ability to run this aircon from our system. Um, so yeah, basically from there, we've designed up a system that essentially will be able to run all of the things. So all of the appliance we've just looked at, um, they've got a compressor fridge as well, which is a you know, quite a big compressor fridge, a 270 litre um, Dometic. Um, so yeah, they've got the, the, the system, the, uh, the load in this van is gonna be quite substantial. So what we've done is gone for a 1200 watts of solar on the roof with the ability to plug in portables because these guys do have portable panels that they swap between the van and the car. Um, we've gone for a 3000 watt inverter which is also an, uh, a charger, so it's a Enerdrive 3000 watt inverter charger, and we've gone for a LifeTech 620 amp hour um, fully compliant battery um, underneath the seat here. So um, the reason that uh, we can mount this battery underneath the seat is it is fully enclosed in its own enclosure with the ability to attach a breather or a vent um, to ensure that if something goes wrong inside that enclosure with that battery, the gases that are emitted by the cells of that battery are then exhausted outside and not into the living space of the caravan. So that's how we can install this particular battery 
underneath the seat. This system has been designed in a way that the battery has more discharge capacity than what the system will um, be able to take from the battery. So we've got um, flexibility in our design, essentially. Uh, yeah, so um, overarching on top of all of that is the Cymarine system, which um, we, we pretty much put into all of our builds. So as always, we mount the controls for our inverter and our monitoring package into the overhead cupboards so that it's easy for the user to use. Not mounted onto the side of the seat somewhere or you know over here in the back of the couch or whatever. So in the overhead cupboard here we've got our inverter controller inside the cupboard and we've got our Cymarine system, Cymarine control on the outside here. Um, this was done um, in a way that was appropriate for this particular customer. Um, so they, um, we talked about a bunch of different options as to how we were gonna go about doing this build, but ultimately what we decided to do was to put the screen which will go to sleep and go completely dark on the outside of the cupboard where it's nice and easily accessed and the screen that still has LED lights on it, um, which is the inverter control, which we can't switch the LEDs off on at night time inside the cupboard so they can close the door and it won't emit any light. We had to do a little bit of jiggling around in this cupboard to move um, some space and bits and pieces around. The other thing that we've done in this van as well is um, without beating around the bush too much, most caravans that you find um, have uh, 240 volt compliance issues. Um, so, you know, if if a general sparky comes along and looks inside a caravan, pretty much there's going to be a lot of things that they'll condemn um, that don't meet the minimum requirement of the standards. Um, so, whenever we see that as an, as um, as sparkies, whenever we see things that uh, that don't meet the minimum requirement of the standard, we have to fix them. So. This particular van um, did have a lot of that going on. So I've rewired a whole bunch of 240 inside this cupboard in here. I put a new switchboard in, um, mechanically protected all the 240 volt cabling and, and made it safe so that it complies. Um, and across the board in the, in, the, in the caravan manufacturing industry, that is quite common. Um, as much as the caravan manufacturers probably don't want to hear that, um, that is quite common. They just don't build to Australian standards properly. So um, caravan manufacturers, please do the right thing by your clients in future. Um, so yeah, we've, we've sort of swapped a few things around in here and um, fixed up uh, the switchboard. Um, and basically moved around a whole bunch of the overhead cupboard area here. Um, so, all right, so just moving on from that, as I say, we've got our um, system mounted into the into the seats. So obviously we've got our battery in this side. Um, we've got a main isolator and our battery monitor down here in um, this compartment. Um, so obviously it's a little bit tight in there with the with the hot water system as well. Um, on this side of the seat we've got the chargers, the inverter, and the monitoring system. So a couple of solar regulators, a DC DC charger, 3000 watt inverter, uh, appropriate fusing for our solar array on the roof and then some DC distribution down there as well for what we needed to put in. So basically that um, is now ready to be boxed up. Um, it's all neat and tidy underneath the seats. So as we say quite regularly, the seat area is pretty unusable for most things. There's not a lot of space in there normally. So um, putting a battery system is a really good place for that to go. Cool, all right, so I guess in summary, this van um, was designed in a way so that the 
owners would be able to go free camping off grid anywhere they liked and really not have any issues with power. Um, so we've given them that. It's plenty of battery, plenty of capacity. Um, as I say, they can plug portables in if they need to. So any questions, please don't hesitate, send them through. We're always happy to answer any questions. Feel free to give us a call if you need to. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Cheers.